Hello, and welcome to the Canber Tech Study. This video will go over how to complete the paired associates task with the cognitive test battery. Please be aware that this video is meant only as a general guide to complete the cognitive test. What you see in this video will not be exactly the same as the actual cognitive test, but will be very similar. What is currently shown on the screen is what you will see after you have started the cognitive test battery on the website and read through the initial instructions. To begin, the name of the cognitive test you are currently on is shown on the top left of the screen. In this case, the task is called Paired Associates. Near the top left of the test window, you will see an audio button. Clicking this audio button will turn off sounds for the cognitive test. If you turn off sound and want to turn it back on, just click the audio button again. To the right of the audio button, you'll see the number of chances you have left to complete this task. The number of chances you have initially starts at three, and after every subsequent mistake, you will have one less chance. Once this reaches zero out of three, you will have no more chances to complete the task, and you will automatically be shifted to the next cognitive task in the cognitive test battery. To the right of this, you will see a score measure. This score measure will go up or down based on your performance on the cognitive test. Please be aware that the way the score measure works in this video may not be the exact same as how the score measure works in the actual cognitive test. Below the score measure are written instructions on how to complete the test. Before you begin the cognitive test, it's important that you read through and understand these instructions. We will also demonstrate these instructions in this video. To the left of the instructions, you will see an animation that illustrates what the cognitive test will look like once you begin and how to complete it properly. Again, we will demonstrate this in greater detail in this video. Near the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you will see text that says exit test and return to study page. Clicking on this text will open up a window allowing you to exit the test and return to your study dashboard. This button is available throughout the entire test, meaning that you can exit the test whenever you want. After exiting the test, you can resume the test from the study dashboard as long as 50 minutes have not yet passed since starting the cognitive test battery. If you encounter any technical issues during the test, we encourage you to try exiting the test using this button and then resuming the test from the study dashboard. To officially start the cognitive test, use your mouse to click on the green button that says begin near the top of the test window. After clicking begin, a quick countdown will occur allowing you to prepare for the cognitive test. Once the test has started, you will notice that there will be a certain number of boxes on screen. These boxes will flip over one at a time so that you can see the color and the shape of the object that it hides underneath. The objective of this cognitive test is to recall which box the object shown on screen is located. After the set of dark boxes are flipped over, you will see a box appear in the middle bottom area of the task. This box will tell you what object you need to recall. So in this case, the object that we need to recall is the blue cross, and the blue cross was located in the box in the bottom right hand corner. So let's select it. Once you've selected your first box, the box in the middle bottom area of the task will reveal another object that you must try to recall. In this case, the yellow object that we need to locate from memory is a yellow pentagon, and the yellow pentagon was located in the box in the top row, so let's select that. Since I recalled both the blue cross and the yellow pentagon correctly under the correct boxes, I have successfully completed this round. You'll know you have completed the round successfully because the test window border will turn green and you will see a green check mark. Once you've completed the first round, you will notice that each subsequent round becomes a bit more challenging, as more boxes will be added. In this example, we have three boxes on screen, and we will be showing each of the objects under them like before. Let's say for this round, I incorrectly recall where the objects are. You will know that you've incorrectly recalled where the objects are because the test window border will turn red, and you'll see a red cross mark. If this happens to you, do not worry. Please continue the task until you have no more chances. When you no longer have any more chances to continue this cognitive task, you will automatically be directed to the next cognitive test. It sends our video on completing the paired associates test. If you encounter any issues with the cognitive test, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Can Protect Research team. The email can be found in the description below.